Hello everybody, welcome to today's Lawn's Garage. Uh, today we're going to be open boxing a spark plug tester. Uh, this is something I never purchased before. I didn't really know they existed, so today we're going to try it out and see if it works. I bought this on Amazon. There's the owner's manual. It does have QR codes to scan for the product, which is kind of cool. I'm assuming this is a power supply, since it does take power. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in here. And... This is the tester itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test with a known good and a known bad spark plug. So this is a fouled spark plug out of my old carbureted 69 and this is a good spark plug that I also took out of my 69 and it does work. So we're going to connect this guy and see if it actually tells us that these are bad or not. Uh, it does have a place for the power right here, I'm going to plug that in, looks like it's turned off. I'm going to put the known bad plug in this guy, and I'll put the known good one over here. It does have a safety cover to prevent you from getting shocked, I'm assuming, so it says please close before using. So it has uh, two indicators there for signal, and then one for power. So we're gonna go ahead and power it up. Power light's on, and we're right now we're at zero RPM, so I'm gonna crank it up a little bit. So we're getting a pretty strong signal light on this spark plug but not too much on that one. If you can see in here, the spark itself, I can also see it there on that electrode. I can barely see it on that spark plug. So let's go up to 2000 RPMs. You may be able to hear the energy going. I see a spark on this guy, but I see a much better spark on this one. Also, the signal light on this one has come on strong. So what that's saying is kind of the symptom I had in my car. When I got up to higher RPMs, the misfire would go away. When I went down to idle, which is around 600 RPMs, I was not getting any spark or any signal. So let's go ahead and max it all the way out. That's 3000 RPMs. We've got a good spark here, hardly anything over there. 4000 RPMs. 5,000 RPMs. So they're both firing. Uh, obviously the good spark plug's firing a lot better, but um, I think this is truly evident only at lower RPMs where you can actually see that, hey, this plug is gonna cause you some problems and this guy won't. Um, overall, I'm pretty impressed. I didn't know such a device existed, but uh, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna definitely use this in the future for troubleshooting as I, rather than just replace spark plugs, I'm gonna actually see if they're good or bad. So uh, I'll put a link to the product on my YouTube page and uh, hopefully you'll get some use out of it like I did. Thanks.